What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Forge G2 Guys in Season 2. This is episode 12, and hopefully, as always, I have Blue Spit. Yeah. I don't know, like, uh, who's more dangerous to deal with, whether if it's Gojo or Nan- Nanami. Yeah. Well, Nanami was just really pissed in this episode, and I mean, understandably so, because this guy, uh, I it seemed like he killed, uh, I forget what his name is, but that, uh, the guy with the glasses, um, it, it seems like, yeah, he had basically just murdered him. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I think Nanami was out for revenge uh, against this against uh, against this dude. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, he really didn't hold back. Yeah. Uh, but, but but before this, um, we, we catch up with uh, both Yuji and Mag- uh, Megumi destroying the veil, trapping the sorcerers in the city. However, uh, there is still like uh, another veil that's still trapping Gojo um in another area so they're gonna have to go out and take care of that however before that they find that eno's um you know an unconscious eno uh, gets thrown out of the building that he was at uh earlier and they they managed to catch him and he's ba- he, you know he's barely uh alive after after what happened to him uh basically what happened was uh he's basically just been beaten near death by by toji yeah, another thing too is that you know, we cut back to to uh, Toji or well the uh, the the guy that basically has Toji sort of inhabiting his body, but it also seems like part of I guess a part of Toji's soul had somehow uh, somehow like merged with it as well uh, because it seems like they it, in a way it had kind of rotten him back uh, because you know the uh, the old woman's uh, sorcerer or assassin tries to order him and he sort of like you know responds with like who who are you to order me around basically and and that kind of indicates to her that it's not the same person inhabiting that body anymore uh that i guess that toji had somehow taken over um i i I guess it's it's kind of interesting if that's the case because that kind of means he somehow he came back to life that way i i don't know um yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be much more interesting uh now that toji like a fully resurrected Toji is now brought into the in, into the mix with you know with the whole Shinjuku in, incident. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but soon after oh, this, Shibuya. like uh, yeah, the, yeah, this Shibuya incident. Um, but yeah, Toji um, eventually ends up killing killing the old woman after this. Soon afterwards, and yeah, so now we're gonna have to deal with to. Well, the sorcerer is gonna have to deal with Toji just. Uh, you know, due to Toji's reputation as the sorcerer killer, uh, I mean, you have to wonder. I mean, um, I mean, if if he like, it's gonna be interesting if he runs into Me- Megumi or uh, goes to the same location in which uh, Gojo has been sealed. Yeah, uh, I feel like that's most likely what's going to happen. Yeah, um, there is another interesting scene that happened at the beginning of the beginning of this episode. Is um, the way they animated that Megumi scene was was on another level. Oh yeah, well, yeah, maybe of course encounters, um, uh, encounters Ghetto in the in the subway, um, and you know she she sort of laments having to fight him because she says that she's always like kind of I guess in a way sort of respected him, um, but he he like ends up uh doing like some kind of a, a domain expansion, and like trying to uh, I think he's like he tries to trap her inside of a coffin or something. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but eventually she manages uh, to free herself soon after that, and um, yeah, ba- basically May 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 is getting ready to fight against this this fake ghetto. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, I, I think you know she she doesn't know that this ghetto is fake. She, uh, you know, l- like Gojo initially, like you know, she believes that this is the actual ghetto at first, but she doesn't know that uh, this ghetto is being possessed by another being. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, at the same time too, we also, uh, cut to, um, uh, Nabara and, uh, uh, I cannot remember the, uh, the blonde woman, but, uh, like they're, yeah. they're running through the city just, uh, uh, sort of, I, I, I think, I, I don't know if they're, they're trying to, are they trying to get to where like Gojo might be or they're, uh, I forget where they're, they're trying to get to, but, uh, I, I think that they're, they're trying to help like take down ta- take down some of the uh, the, of the veil humans or, or the veil yeah 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 and 
uh, Novara and this other woman uh, are confronted by. Uh, I I don't know what this guy's name is. It's like you know this. It's a blonde he was, guy. Um, blonde. He was briefly in season one, uh, but I don't think he really did all that much. Uh, there was like an interaction with him and Mahito. Um, yeah, but yeah, he. I, I guess in this season we get to see what he can do. Um, we saw like I think we kind of see some of what he can do in season one. He's got this like weird like hand sword thing that he uses. Yeah, he, and he he manages to dodge. Um, you know, he 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 manages to you know the dodge every attack that's being thrown at him. And no, you know, despite Nobaro's best attempts, she she can't. She can't land a hit on him, and uh, he manages to use his sword to chase after this other woman. Uh, other woman, and he uh, stabs her repeatedly in the legs uh, multiple times. Yeah, like and both that- both Navarra, her and Navarra get pretty savagely beaten by him. Like, I mean, uh, I was like, it seems pretty hopeless. I mean, until of course until Nanami shows up. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, the beating that you know this guy gave to Navarra is. Ne- nearly minuscule compared to what Nanami just gave to oh, this yeah. guy. Yeah, I mean, it's it was kind of funny, you know, what Nanami did show up and just completely, like, you know, like, uh, you know, just completely wipe the floor with him. And, of course, the guy just sort of, in, in typical, like, anime fashion, just completely underestimates him and doesn't think anything of him until he just gets, you know, he just gets start getting his ass beaten. Um, and, uh, you know, Navarro eventually recovers from it, but... I'm pretty concerned about the other, the the, uh, the blonde woman because she she definitely like I mean I would assume she's definitely dead but I mean I uh, who knows I mean she, she, uh, she's not dead I mean well, she got with how many times she leg. got stabbed she should be but I mean probably you know she'll probably come back from it somehow um, yeah but yeah Nanami just completely uh, just uh, throws this guy around and just uh, uh, like you can tell that he is like he's pissed because he he. Well, I guess he assumed that that he was responsible for uh, f- for killing his friend, um, and then of course, uh, I th- I think he does confirm that it was him that that did it. Uh, yeah, and you know, and of course, he, once he, he finds he that out, he's uh, he. I mean, he he basically just you know you know just cries and just starts begging for his life soon after this before being you know you know just pretty much being decked on by Nanami, just you know being punched like right across the city. Yeah, and Nanami's like repeatedly, repeating, repeatedly asking him if they're like, I think like where his friends are or something like that, um, and uh, yeah, so it's just, it, it's just, uh, you know, hilarious to watch him, you know, just pretty much get instant karma like that because, uh, you know, it, it, without Nanami's intervention, the, I'm pretty sure Nabara and both the blonde woman Nabara would definitely be dead uh, if he hadn't, you know, shown up. Yeah, um, but yeah, and so of course the the end of this episode uh, catches us back to Yuji, who run, runs into I think his name is Choso, um, basically just getting ready to fight this guy. Um, I, I guess uh, you know, this Choso guy uh, wants to a- avenge uh, his his brothers. Uh, so so yeah, so uh, like the episode just cuts off uh, with you know Yuji running into this guy getting ready for a fight. Yeah. Yeah, so I of course the next episode is probably going to be a fight with Yuji and and uh, Choso, um, which we kind of seen already some of what Choso can do. He has some kind of blood abilities that he uses. It's sort of like a uh, as like kind of like blood bending or something, almost like from Avatar. Um, yeah, so, you know, obviously not the same, but kind of reminded me of that. Uh, but yeah. I, uh, pretty decent episode i mean of course there's not really much happening in terms of plot progression but it was it, it was pretty of course pretty funny just to watch uh that guy just completely get his ass handed to him by nanami and uh yeah you know i mean it's i i mean of course the animation continues to really impress me and i mean i, I even saw some comparison shots from the manga uh with the uh the anime and it it looks like they kind of added some things with the nanami scene because in the manga he there's not really the uh of uh, he doesn't really like grab him by the ponytail like he does in the anime apparently uh and there's and uh, and the panel itself isn't really all that detailed but the anime is just kind of takes it to another level uh it's just really heavily detailed and just uh uh you know, it seemed like way more brutal than what it looked like in the manga, from what I could see. Uh, 
Yeah. So it, one of the few instances I would say where like the the anime actually is is actually a little bit better uh, than the source material. Yeah, and you know I'm also curious and um and what role Toji is going to end up playing now that you know these been been fully resurrected. I mean, uh, who's gonna who is he, is he gonna interact with uh, first, or you know if if he's gonna end up catching up with his son uh, Megumi for the first time and like in many years, you know, before his death. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty likely that there's going to be some, something with him and Megumi as to what I'm not sure, but I guess, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about the episode. Uh, pretty decent episode. Uh, I, I definitely liked all, you know, well, I, you know, not really much of a fight scene, but of, you know, the way everything was animated continues to, like I said, continues to be really, really good. Um, I, I have some pretty high expectations for the next episode, considering I guess it's probably going to be like, I'm assuming most of it's going to be this fight with uh, Yuji and uh, Choso. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if you have anything else to say about the episode. Oh yeah, I mean this so far the season's you know been top notch so far. I mean it's ba- basically just you know bringing us back into the action since um, you know since season one ended. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I definitely, I, I'm definitely enjoying this season a lot more than I did uh, season one, to be honest. Yeah. Um. I mean, people said that the Shibuya arc is one of the best, and and uh, well, I mean, one of the best arcs they they said in in manga. Uh. So I mean, I, I knowing that I had some fairly high expectations. So far, you know, it's it's decent, but to say it's one of the best arcs in like you know in any anime or manga i i'm not sure if i'd say that um i guess we'll just have to see what happens we're, we're still like you know fairly early on into it so um yeah but so far there have been some i think the biggest thing so far has been that reveal that uh of like what geta really is i thought that was a pretty interesting thing um but uh, apparently there's going to be some pretty big things that end up happening later on so i guess we'll have to see uh, what happens with that. Um, but yeah, uh, that all being said, guys, until next time, we will see you all later.